Okay, so I got the chassis. Uh, move that up a little bit. Oh, whoa, okay. It's ready to run. Jeez. Alright, uh, move that one a little bit. Okay, so I think I actually didn't have to put grease there. But whatever, maybe it'll run smoother. Uh, and then I need to put a little bit right here. Alright, uh, that's good. Now let's get the front differential in. So I believe it says you need two bearings right there. It actually has to go in these two holes right here. Oh, see. Oh, it's for the front axle. Okay. If you did not know, um, the kit comes with an independent front suspension, which, uh, for my needs, I actually don't like too much because I want to lift it eventually and uh, and, uh it's gonna be a real excuse my French but a real bitch to lift because if you know cars in the front is fr independent front suspension is uh, pretty difficult to actually uh, pursue so as Making it lifting wise. I'm gonna actually run into one problem already, and I think I'm actually using the wrong screws. How about that? Um, shh, Nikes. Oh, you can see my first mistake. I made the wrong screws, or. No, I made the wrong screws, yeah. How about that? Uh, this is one part of the kit that everybody complains about is uh, screws are really bad. Uh, not bad. Hard to determine in my laws. So, I'll be right back. I've got to fix this issue. So, now that I have all the gears in there, and I'll be on quite honest, this, this uh, differential one, that right there, that was a absolute monster. And, so, I fixed that. I had a torque on a little bit better, and now it's good. So now I'm going to put in the, the case. I just wanted to see everything. You see that? Got the motor. Everything's in there. So, I'm going to put the case on right now. I believe it's the same screws. I gotta put this on with the dot. There we go. I believe it's three millimeter. I'm yeah, correct. Let's just crank this baby on. Uh, screwdriver. Right, I'm not gonna crank them all at one time. I'll do them separately. Yeah. I mean not separately. One by one. If you're a smart guy, you know how you know my philosophy. Well, everybody's philosophy, you know. You can't just crank them all at once. And then I'm gonna put the thing in there and see how it goes. Put a drive shaft. No, not a drive shaft. I'll put an artificial axle. We'll move it around and see if we get any crazy movement. Cause I still need to. Uh, I'm gonna pause it real quick. I'm gonna tighten this all down so you guys don't have to watch that boring stuff. Okay, so I torqued them all on. Motors hooked up. Now, uh, the next part I believe you work on the axles, but I have no idea. So let's find out, shall we? So put on that. Oh, so now we're going to do the drive gear. So we're gonna be doing the rear, I believe. Back there. I have no idea. Oh yeah, right there. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna sit down and do this myself, so I'll be right back. Okay, so put on this uh, ball bearing, and then now I have to put on uh, this guy right here. So uh, let me put them on. So I think I got a little up. Oh no, that's already. That's right there. So now I'm gonna put this in like this. Put it just like that. Slip it on, just like a glove, and then put in this uh, brass sealed bearing. Put it in just like that too. But let me grease it up a little bit. You know how it is. And uh, it's greased up. I'm gonna put this to the side, and then now I'm going to f put on the front da uh, damper mount. So. I'll find those and I'll tell you what happens next. It's be quite a while, probably. Right back. 
Okay, now that I put in the uh, rear diff, it's now time to put in the uh, oil damper brackets. So I'm putting in one right now on the chassis. I had a little motor issue, but I fixed it. And I have a feeling I'm going to have a problem with the rear diff, too. So I'm not, you know, all the way done with my problems because I don't think I am even close to that. Let's tighten these up. You want to make sure these are tight. People are like, oh, are they supposed to be tight? You know, don't, don't be too sure. You know, sometimes you can just get screwed over. Literally. No such thing as too much screw and, and screwing. Okay, never mind. Uh, now I'm going to have to put that weird the diff now. Um, put this in. Screw something in there. I believe you get the black thing I had earlier. Put that in. Okay. Here's my little crescent wrench. Let's crank that guy out. Working. I'm gonna crank it on real quick. It might take a while. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we are going to put on these uh, brackets for. So I gotta look at the picture. Uh, I have no idea what these are called. I think for the. I think. The, I think this is from my experience of seeing things. <laughs> but I think these are sway bar brackets. I have no idea what they're to. Find out once we install. Okay, why aren't you? You don't like. Let's find out if you like actually screwing in or not. Going straight. It's actually quite annoying knowing that I am screwing in the wrong frickin'. God damn. Ah, uh, dang it. Gosh darn it, don't you hate when that happens? Ah, oh, that is just nerve wracking. Okay, I hope I didn't strip anything else. Shucks. Sorry, Bob. Oh my god, that was suck. Oh my god, my wrist is freaking cracking. Hey, the freaking, what's it called? The. Advantages of having a broken wrist. Partially broken. I don't know if it's... The sound of the arm wants twisting just disgusting. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Right, put the other one. Don't worry, all you uh, finicky freds, or whatever you guys want to call yourself, perfectionist, uh, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to get a towel and wipe down all the grease that I have put on the chassis. And my, me, myself, would actually don't like that, so. I'm going to crank down a few of these and then I'll get my stuff done. Yeah. Okay, so on the chassis, bring it up so you can see. Uh, I'm going to wipe down my hands real quick. Uh, put in all the all the uh, brackets for the uh, oil filled shocks. You know, you know, you got the drive shaft and you get some more sway bar brackets. So I'm going to finish that a little bit and I'll come back to you guys. After five measly minutes, no, I'm just joking, I got it cranked on. But I'm starting to see way too much play in this. So we'll see how that plays out. I highly. You know, I, I just might have just go in there and fix it. Yeah, you know, there's way too much play in that. Uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to fix this. After five measly minutes, no, I'm just joking. I got it cranked on. But I'm starting to see way too much play in this. So, 
we'll see how that plays out. I highly, you know, I, I just might have just go in there and fix it. Yeah, but wait. I have way too much play in that. Uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to fix this. Okay, so I made these uh, sway bars for the actual steering. I don't think they're called sway bars, but I made those. That took a while. That took maybe 15 minutes. All right, so that is done. We'll keep, keep that right there. Now we're going to make the independent. Okay, so now I uh, finished the independent front suspension. Uh, don't even know what to call it, so I'm just going to say uh, arms. You know, you got your caster blocks. You got everything. So I'm going to screw them on real quick. I did this real quick. Uh, actually, not real quick. I actually took a... Whoa. Took a lot of time. But I'm going to put it on real uh, fast, and I'll get right back. Okay, so now I'm just putting the, the case mount, or the shell mount, whatever you want to call it, for the body. Yeah, body mount. There we go. Just gonna screw this on real quick. I kind of take back what I said before about the screws being, you know, stupid. I mean, I guess they have a pretty good, you know, screw link linkage system. Just, what's it called? I mean, it's like, it's not very many different. I can see the exception of some, but, you know. Don't worry, I have. All you guys out there are saying, what idiot is using a drill? Well, this is low torque, so. I mean, it's not a low torque drill, I'll tell you that, but it's got a low torque right now, so. You know, so I'll strip the screws. Yeah, I'm, tight, I'm tightening it manually because I don't want to strip it. Don't want to screw that up. Why is this so like. Is this supposed to be like that? Let's find out. Yes, it's not looking really good, man. Oh, I guess it was just that screw. And this one. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get all the brackets set up for us. Okay, so I just popped in these linkages right here, and now I'm gonna put in this uh, precious steering. So let me find out. This goes. This goes like this. Pretty sure. But knew that. Oh, maybe it goes right here. Mm. Oh boy. Hold on, I, I still have to do something real quick. Yep, I have to do something real big. I'll be right back. I gotta put in a huge thing and I'll show you what I did. Alright, so I'm just about to uh, lubricate the great with uh, independent front suspension with grease and uh, put it right in like that. Put it in the other side. Whoa, why is this different? What are they supposed to look like? Okay, so the other side is actually supposed to go like this. So switch sides real quick. Alright, no big deal. Alright, set these up. Oh, like a 
glove. Wow. Um, lubrication. Now we're going to put in the arms. The front independent front suspension sway bars. Oh, we just love that. I don't. Some people do. Okay, uh, let's put in the... How many through? Ten. Okay, cool. Same thing I've been using the whole time. Torquing these screws. And then, um, this is a really boring part. I'm just going to screw this in and I'll get back to you.